like that is like not okay. But how can, how can you say you're any better than Kimi Vellicini if you do that? I think that's like disgraceful. Hello everyone, Kirith here. Hope everyone is well. And this is probably going to be a little bit of a controversial video because we're going to be asking the question: Is it ever okay to punt a dirty driver in GT Sport? This was a race that happened live on stream. You can see I'm starting one place behind Kimi Vellicini. Kimi Vellicini, we know, is one of the dirtiest drivers in GT Sport. There's been many videos on him by a lot of people, so his credentials are not really in doubt. But does that make it okay to punt him? So we're here at Monza. Uh, this was Daily Race B, and you're going to see the second chicane on lap one. So right at the beginning of the lap, Kimi Vellicini is going to get absolutely punted into the Shadow Realm. Is it okay? I don't know. You're going to hear my live reaction when I saw this happen and what my opinion was then. But thinking back, I just I don't know whether this is okay or not. I can think of arguments that it is okay because, you know, this guy is a dirty driver. We should just get him out of the race so he doesn't ruin other people's races. Someone does, you know, you could say it's a good deed getting vigilante like that. Or it's just not acceptable because you're lowering yourself to his standard. You're winding him up. He's only going to take it out on other people. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. So what we do now is let's have a look at how this develops in the first few corners and and the punting hey, question. Hey, let's have a look. Hey, Paul is around the States as well. Whoa! Oh, Good move, Kimmy. Good move. You, you've got to take what happens. And how we made this way through there, I don't know, but what's Mohammed going to do? Mohammed's got a one second penalty. He's surely going to look up the inside. Oh, Mohammed, mate, that is just filth. Like, that is like, not okay. But how, can, how can you say you're any better than Kimi Vellicini if you do that? I think that's like disgraceful. I mean, let me know in chat, any, everyone, anyone, anyone, like, you can't do that. So there we go. That was my reaction as it happened. I, I didn't think it was a good look, basically, to do that on Kimi Vellicini. But we're going to have a look now at the replay. We're going to see how this all develops. And we're going to think more about what it's justified. So do let me know in the comments. What do you think about this? Because we've, we've looked at other drivers on the channel before that just seem to be consistently ruining other people's races. Is this a legitimate thing to do? I, I, I don't know my... My hunch is it's not, really, because it's not something I would do. Um, I don't think it's a good look. I don't think it is going to de-escalate things. But again, let's have a look at the analysis and do let me know what you think. Latte is better in the Coronation Street, yeah. <laughs> the drama. It's like a reality show. Right, I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause. I remember thinking, oh, Kimmy's on the grass. But actually, I'm not sure he did much wrong. Right, let's stop the music. We chat, we've really got to work this out. We have to work out what's happened to us. Let's run with Kimmy. I can go frame by frame if we want as well. In fact, we'll go frame by frame. So it doesn't break too late. Oh, I'm gonna regret this going frame by frame. See so a gap up the inside, so man, but I think someone breaks really early ahead. It might be, beg my pardon. Might be um Yaya. Breaking early. Let us know if he breaks early, yeah, yeah. Okay. Kimmy is he's on full break, as you have to be at this stage. He's not and see at this point he's not going for a dive, but I think it's just so many cars there. He needs to he's just he's still on full break. He's still on full break. So I feel like he's opportunistic, but I think I said at the time like fair play. I don't know how he doesn't get a track limit here. He just kind of it, like, this is pretty good so far. And he's trying to slot in here. Now this bit, he's still on... Right, he's on break, but he's also on the throttle. So I can see how Mohammed doesn't feel too good about this. But I mean, that kind of, to me, is a little bit of racing. Let's see what happens next. Let me know what you want to see in the chat as well. Let me know what camera angles and stuff. Oh, 
Doesn't look good. It's, it's not a good look, Mohammed. Okay, but we s have a look at uh, Mohammed. I mean, I'll be I'll be real. The contact, and I'm not trying to. I'm I'm trying to be really impartial. Hopefully, that's obvious. But I feel like the contact that the contact that you gave to um, Bosworth is similar to the contact you got from Kimmy. You go look at the black Corvette here. That kind of nudge you give him there is similar to the nudge you get from Kimmy. And I know it doesn't look it, it looks suspicious that Kimmy's like been on the grass and gained three positions or something. But I can't I can't really blame him too much. Yeah, I'm just People are gonna make their minds up. I think the irony is, I think Kimmy does okay out of this. Might be wrong. <laughs> Kimmy actually does fine. He won't even get a penalty for a track cut. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Everyone off their high horse, he without sin. Yeah, I, I don't know. Even Josh, hope you're a long time to see. I don't know what... Okay, the only way we can do this, there's about 100 people watching, is we see, I think we've seen... Are there any more angles people want to see? But the question is, was Mohammed right to do what he did? Yes or no? If he was right, because... The reasons he could be right is because Kimi Villachini, we know, is a dirty driver, has taken out many people in other races, and maybe just that's okay to go vigilante anyway. And B, this kind of whatever happened in turn one, which I don't think was too much. Or was Mohammed not right to do it? I think it's got to be a yes or yes or a no. Because Mohammed, when you say, "Okay, but you know I don't ever do this," well, we don't we don't know that because I don't I don't think you stream, so we don't know. This is like the most we've ever seen you on this channel, and th that's what we see. So that's what I mean by it's not a good look. Right, the, the answers are coming in. Robert Noble, he should have been the bigger man. And let Karma get Kimmy. Melty, no, that's never acceptable. Gary, no. That's in heat at the moment. Let's ride it. We'll keep Kimmy going on. I think it's just knives out for Kimmy. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> stop the answers. <laughs> stop the answers. It's just bad news. Wherever Kimmy goes, it's bad news, isn't it? Oh dear. Okay, there's more to this story. The battle for 15th. He's going to try and pick you. <laughs> oh, okay. So, oh, it's all shenanigans now. It's all shenanigans now. A little bit of tit for tat. Cat. No one wants to be in front, do they? <laughs> Ivan, let someone be judged on their race alone. Yeah, that's true. It's a bit like in football when they say, oh, he's, he's not a dirty player, but he broke his leg. But it doesn't really matter. kimmy has got the uh, indicators on. He's trying to he's trying to psych out Mohammed. Ooh. It's cat and mouse now. This was the real race. 
forget what I was doing. This is where the action was. Yeah, it is melty, yeah. Last joke is not as clear as that. If it was a clean driver. That's true, yeah, maybe, maybe yeah. But look what it's degenerated into, like, okay. To be honest, having just played Forza, this is like, this is standard fare for Forza. This happens at the front of the race. And it's not affecting anyone else now. Ooh. No. Thinking about it. Getting close now. Ooh. Is Mohammed going to be able to get past? I feel like, I don't know who's like the hunter now. I feel like I thought Mohammed was a hunter, but now I feel like Kimmy is a hunter. Taken out. Couldn't get past. Is Mohammed going to get past Kimmy? Ah, oh, Kimmy goes into pits, says he. No. Lot twist. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of, um... I need some music. It reminds me of that cycling race, the pursuit, where, like, you don't want to be in front. He's got past. He's got past. There's been a change of position. Mohammed is now going to break. Is he going to be able to stay clear of Kimi Bellicini? Kimi Bellicini probably dropping out of punt range already. It would have to be one of the punts of the century to get Mohammed through the chicane. Let's have a look. Will he gamble on the shortcut, taking the penalty, but getting that trap position? Let's see. Kimi Bellicini now on the aggressive. He has managed to close out that gap. Very difficult to punt in the Lesmos, unless you're a highly skilled punter, which we know Kim Bellicini is. But we need to get a superb exit here. He might try and line something up at Ascari or Parabolica on the penultimate lap already. Here we go. Is Kimmy going to be in the slip? Looks like he might just be into the slip here. This is tense. Is he going to go for a punt at Ascari? Is he going to wait? Let's have a look. He's going to wait. He's going to bide his time, try and get a good exit here. It's a little bit sloppy from both drivers. Not the best for Ascari. Look at the gap now closing. And he's caught right up. He's got a half second penalty though. Big drama. Stalking his prey. And there we go. There's another change of position. Mohammed dropping behind. It's cat and mouse again. But Kimi has the penalty. What does this mean? As we go into the final lap, we will see. Mohammed using the invisibility cloak there just to ghost in and out. Interesting tactic. And I've got to stop because I've got a lump in my throat. Here we go, turn one. Place your bets, everyone. What's going to happen? Kimmy indicates left. Is it a charade? Change of position. Kimmy goes for a pump. Not effective. Mohammed's going to get through into turn one. Mohammed goes off the track, and there we go. Big pump by Kimmy. What's he going to do now? He's got the half second penalty. Is he going to bolt or is he going to wait? There we go, up to two and a half seconds. Two and a half second penalty for Kimmy. He's bolted. He's gone. It's up to Mahabin now to catch up. That two and a half second penalty is going to be a huge penalty going down the back straight. But surely Mohammed is too far behind. It's difficult in the replays to carefully judge the exact distance. But, you know, it's at least, for me, at least five seconds. At least five seconds. Still two and a half for Kimmy. He is going to get slowed down here. This is going to be absolutely critical. Mohammed could get one chance going into Ascari. We will see. There we go. Here comes Mohammed. He will see Kimi Bellicini slowing down. That countdown will feel like an age for Kimi. Here's Mohammed already on the straight at full speed, and Kimi having to get back up to speed. But it looks like Mohammed may have he slowed down. Mohammed has backed off. Not going to go for it. Mohammed is going to concede defeat. On the back straight. Well, that was tense, wasn't it? Never give Baz unsalted butter. Yeah, sounds like a proverb. 
Anyway, all kind of fun and games. I personally, I, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have punted Kimmy off. Um, I don't think it's a good thing. So we've looked at the analysis now, and I think I still agree with myself. I think I, I wouldn't punt off, even if it's the most dirtiest driver ever in GT Sport. I've never done it before. And like I said, I, I don't think it's just a good look. I don't think it helps the situation, but I don't know if I'm in the minority on this in terms of the viewpoint, because is it better that, you know, Mohammed does that in that race? Everyone else has their race. You know, I was in that race. I was lucky to have a good race. And maybe if I'd been racing with Kimi Velocini, I would have been taken out. So Mohammed took him out and maybe that was for the good of the race. I don't know. I'm interested to know what people think because there's been some really good and interesting comments on the last few videos we've done on Dirty Drivers and kind of what we do about it and what we can do about it. And this is actually one of the few things that I guess can be done about it is taking it into your own hands and taking them out. So yeah, I'm really interested to know what you think. If you have watched it all this way, I hope you've enjoyed the video analysis. Do feel free to drop a like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. It really, really helps the channel and I massively, massively appreciate it. Also feel free to join us on one of the live streams. Um, we try and live stream a couple of times every week. G Sport, iRacing, stuff like that. But otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. And I will see you next time.